Hello yogis, my name is April and welcome to the Yoga Ranger Studio and welcome to our practice today. Today we're going to be doing a strength and stretch class for the upper chest and of course this is going to include upper back and shoulders because they are all tied together. But we're going to be focusing mostly on the upper chest opening and strengthening through multiple positions, poses and movements that will help us build a little bit more awareness of the space as well as some space and strength. For this practice, we're going to start with two blocks. If you don't have two blocks, you can use a pillow or a couple of blankets laid in a crosswise position. But if you have your two blocks, go ahead and set your tallest one up on for your head and your lowest one is going to be at the second highest height, right about where your shoulders are going to land. So right at the base of your shoulder blades, I'm going to do a little supported fish here. So kind of find that place where the block isn't right on the bones. You may have to adjust your top one to reach your head appropriately, but find your place here that works for you. Let your shoulders fall out to the side. We're gonna start with the arms out wide and open. Maybe they go out to the sides. Maybe they just hang out alongside the hips. Nice deep breaths in this position. We can really breathe into the chest, opening the space. This is helpful because we spend a lot of our time bent over doing tasks. We have a natural curve in our upper back, which lends to that as well. And this is sort of reversing that position, opening up the breath, the space of the lungs, opening up all those little tiny spaces in between each one of the ribs. Two more deep inhales and exhales. And keeping our position on the blocks here, we're going to take the arms up overhead and grasp either the wrists or the forearms or the elbows and just let those arms drop back. Now your arms may drop back further or they may be much higher up over your head. It doesn't matter where this position is. We're just trying to find a little bit more stretch in the side body, the side waist, the under the arms and shoulders. Whatever hand was in front, switching hands so that we're equal on both sides. You will have a hand that automatically is the one you always go to, the dominant side, just like with your legs. A lot of people sit cross-legged with their right leg in front or their left leg in front almost every time without thinking about it. And then taking the arms up overhead, stretching out through your fingertips, letting those hands come back down alongside your hips, bend your knees, and either roll to the right or come up right. We're gonna come up to a seated position. If it's easier to sit back on your heels with a block underneath your hips, you can place a block underneath your hips or you can just set those blocks off to the side. Coming up right, we're gonna take those arms out to the side in sort of an angel wing. So opening them up, taking those elbows back a little bit further. We're going to bring those hands together, press the palms and the elbows together and open up. Maybe a little back bend here, tilting the head up, coming back together and opening wide, coming together, pressing and opening. Two more, press those elbows and palms together, opening up elbows as far back as you can. Last one, press and open, hold here for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Right hand goes over to the right, left hand goes up and over, stretching as far as you can away from that left hip. 
and then starting to dive that left hand a little toward the right top corner and then opening up toward the left. Inhaling in down and exhaling up, back. Inhaling in and exhaling open. Coming all the way back up to center, other side. Left fingertips down, right hand goes up and over, lateral stretch, reaching as far away from that right hip as possible. And then starting to turn a little bit forward, bring that right hand down toward the left corner and then opening up toward the right corner, opposite angle here. Down and up and down and up, stretch, and then come back up to center, coming all the way back down and coming onto hands and knees. Little cat cow here, inhaling heart forward, pressing through the heels of the hands and the fingertips, exhaling, arching and rounding, pressing the mat away from you, inhaling, maybe shifting forward a little bit, bringing the heart through, and exhaling back, Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Last one, inhale forward and exhale, lift and round. Coming back to center, bring the big toes together. Start to lean back, walk your hands back as far as you can go. Maybe use those blocks, maybe you don't. Take the knees a little bit wider. Press through the fingertips, lift the hips. In yoga, we don't have a lot of positions where we lift the heart in this way or that we press away from the floor backwards. Starting to lift, maybe drop your chin back. And coming back to center. And coming all the way down to hands and knees. Shifting that left foot over to the left, coming out into a side plank with a little bent knee. Right arm goes up, nice and high. We're gonna add a little twist to this. So find the place where you feel most steady here. Tuck that right arm underneath, a little twist and open. Back as far as you can. Down and under and back. Tuck and twist here. Back open. Tuck and open. Last one, tuck and open. Reach up through your fingertips as far as you can. Press that hand back a little bit more. Open up the heart space. And then drop that right hand down. Other side, turning that right knee out a little bit, reaching that left leg out, coming into your supported side plank. Reaching up through the fingertips as high as you can, taking that arm back a little bit more. So not just the hand, but the actual shoulder. We're opening up the chest on the side. Tucking, twisting, and opening. At your own breath pace here. Nice and slow, taking that shoulder back, not just the hand. And last one, opening up, holding, pressing that shoulder back as far as you can. And then sweeping that right hand, excuse me, left hand down in front of you. Right and left, confused today, right? Come on to hands and knees, find that stability with your fingers spread wide, your thumb pressed down, your fingers pressed down, a little arch here. Lift your hips, come back into downward facing dog. So maybe walking your dog out a step or two, Sometimes if I'm opening up the upper back and shoulders and chest, I walk my feet back further, shifting more of the chest space than the hamstrings. And then rocking forward into plank. Here, if this is too much for you, you can always come down to your knees, experiment with how that feels. And then very slowly, wherever you're at, lowering down to the floor, taking the elbows out to the side, fingers out to the side, come on two little cupcake fingers. Call this a Spider-Man crawl here. Inhaling up and back. Exhaling down. Inhaling up and back. Elbows high, exhaling down. Inhaling up and back. 
hold here, open up the chest. Think about taking the chest forward. One more deep inhale and exhale. And then coming all the way down nice and slow, palms underneath the shoulders, pressing all the way back to your downward facing dog. Rocking your hips side to side, pedaling your feet out. Bring your big toes together or close nearby. Take that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, help it get through all the way through if it doesn't make it. Drop your left knee, arms go up. Reach up nice and tall. Reach up through the fingers, look up toward the fingers, and then pull those elbows down just like we did before in sort of an angel wing position. Lean back. Elbows back as far as you can. Inhale up nice and tall. Exhale, hands around behind you. Interlace the fingers, roll the shoulders back. Here again, lift the chest. Pull the hands down toward that back heel. Hands back up to center, reach up tall. Exhale, hands down, step back to downward facing dog. Switching sides, take that left leg straight up and back. Exhale, sweep it through or give it a little help. Drop your right knee, take the arms up straight, reach up tall through the fingertips, spread your fingers wide. And then elbows come down and back, tilting back and little back bend. Coming back up to center, reaching up tall. Exhale, hands down around behind you. Interlace your fingers. Slowly lift the chest. Pull the hands down toward that back heel. Maybe you pull them away from your lower back. Release, inhale all the way back up, reach up tall, and exhale, hands down. Step back to downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. I always invite you to come down into child's pose whenever you need a break or step into downward facing dog. Maybe walking your feet back, deepening your downward facing dog. More emphasis on the upper body than the lower. And inhale forward to plank. Exhale, halfway down or all the way down. Inhale, flip your toes and come into up dog. And this is the one where your knees are floating off the floor. You're pressing to the tops of your feet. You're pressing your hands away from the floor and you're allowing your chest to move forward and up. We often flow straight through this pose without really spending some time here. Taking your chest forward a little bit more and then exhaling, dropping your knees, coming back to child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Nice and slow and gentle. And inhaling, rocking forward, coming back to downward facing dog. On an inhale, take that right leg straight up and back. Exhale, swing that right foot forward. If it doesn't make it, place it down. Bend your back knee just a little bit and come all the way up into a high lunge. So maybe your front leg straightens at the very start. And then you bend into it, dropping that back knee a little bit, bending your front knee, finding stability here through your hips, reaching your arms up, and then opening up toward the right, arms wide, taking that right arm back as far as you can. Inhale, 
Inhale back to center. Exhale down. Step back to downward facing dog. Other side, take that left leg straight up and back. Exhale, sweep it all the way through. Find stability here and start to come up. Maybe you bend that back knee a little bit to find stability. Find that positioning. Arms reach up nice and tall. And you're gonna open up toward the left. Taking that left arm back as far as you can. Inhale back to center. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Onto hands and knees. Walk your hands a little bit forward, turn the palms up. Bring the palms together and bring those thumb to the back of your neck. Maybe moving your elbows a little bit more forward. Dropping your hands down, coming onto all fours here, and shifting your hips right over your knees, walking your hands up, and coming into melting heart pose. Maybe it feels better to take your hands super wide. Maybe not. Maybe it feels better to have them really close together and out in front of you. Bring your forehead or chin to the floor. Gently lifting up and coming all the way onto your seat. So take your hands behind you, turning those fingers towards your toes, bending your knees and walking them a little bit closer. We're going to lift up into reverse tabletop, lifting the hips as high as they will go. Maybe they're down here, maybe they're way up high. Taking your feet a little wider. Drop your head back if that feels appropriate for you or not. Coming back down, circling the wrists a few times. I'm gonna do one more round of that. So turning those fingers and if you'd like a little bit more for the shoulders, you can walk those hands a little bit closer. They don't have to be quite as far or they could be further. You can come into reverse tabletop or reverse plank. So reverse plank would take your toes out straight. Reverse tabletop would be just what we did. Here again, pressing up, shifting your weight. If you just lift a little bit off the floor, know that that could be enough. And then exhale, come all the way down. And then come all the way down onto your back. Let's take the arms out to the side, crossing right leg over left, shifting your hips over to the right, dropping knees over to the left. Coming back through center, switching sides, taking left leg over right, right above the knee, shifting the hips over to the left, dropping the knees over to the right, maybe looking over your left shoulder this time. Coming back through center, taking arms up overhead, stretching through fingers, stretching through toes, getting long and tall. And then coming all the way up, either rolling to your right side or coming straight up. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me. Have a great day.